Have you ever considered holding your breath, practicing holding your breath, intentionally holding your breath as a way to be more healthy? Well, along with your usual diet and exercise, breath hold techniques might be another key component of increasing your overall wellness and your vitality. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how that is and some strategies that might help. Now, I know it seems counterintuitive. I mean, if I hold my breath too long, bad things are probably going to happen. But let's consider high altitude training, athletes, Olympic athletes, uh, these people that go way up into the mountains where there is less oxygen and they train there. And the reason they do that is because there's this, in that lack of oxygen, that uh, atmosphere where there's less oxygen, there is a physiological response within their body certain organ tissues of their body cause them to release more red blood cells. More red blood cells means increased oxygen carrying capacity. We get more oxygen into our tissues because we have more blood cells. In addition to that, it decreases breathlessness and it helps with just overall energy and vitality. There is even some evidence that says decreasing your tolerance to oxygen will help to decrease stress levels. It helps to improve your hormone profiles. It can boost your immune system. It improves uh, memory, cognition, uh, and just your overall mood and disposition. So there are the reasons why maybe practicing holding your breath could be beneficial for you. How do you do it? How should you go about doing this? Well, the first thing I wanna say is if you have any chronic health conditions, especially any heart or lung condition, don't do any of these techniques. Consult with your primary care physician first, and also don't do these techniques near water. Don't get yourself hurt. Um, so now let's get into it. There are two methods that you could try to use. The first one I'm going to describe is a less aggressive method. Uh, it's called Buteco breathing, and they recognize these benefits. There's a really good book called The Oxygen Advantage, and if you want more information, you could go to that resource. But what they'll have you do is practice holding your breath at the end of an out breath. They don't do any fancy breathing techniques first. They don't have you do big breaths in and out, something like a Wim Hof method would do. Uh, the Iceman Wim Hof, you could look him up as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the second method. But the first method, this Buteco method, is more of a, you've got your normal breathing, you breathe out, Breathe all of that air out. You want to get rid of all of your oxygen. Maybe not that aggressive that I just did, but you want to get as much oxygen out as you can, and then you hold your breath. So we'll do it again. You would time yourself. How long can you hold your breath? Now in the Buteco method, they recommend don't hold it as long as you possibly can to where you feel like you're going to pass out. You would start to breathe again at the moment that you kind of start to feel like, oh, you've got that big urge to take a breath. You could probably hold your breath longer, but you're not going to. When you've got that first urge to really take a breath, get a little small little convulsion in your stomach or something like that, you go ahead and breathe in. The point is you don't want to be huffing and puffing after you've done that breath hold technique. And what they will recommend is practice that frequently. And the more that you practice that, it's like anything else with more practice, uh, you get better at it and you will improve your ability to hold your breath longer. Now, when you do this method, you're not gonna break any of your own personal records. With this particular technique, the goal is to get all of the benefits that we already described without necessarily uh, practicing you know, these two, three, four minute breath holds that some people will go for. It's just to get the benefits with a less aggressive method. You do that frequently. Hey, what if I want to actually try to hold my breath longer? I want to break my own personal record. I wanna be able to hold my breath for two minutes, three minutes, even four minutes. Well, then you would practice this second breathing technique. 
It is more aggressive and there are some more risks involved in this. So please be careful and again, consult with a physician uh, if you have any conditions that might prohibit you from doing this. Now the second technique is going to be more of a preparation before you hold your breath and after you do this preparation, you will hold your breath after a big breath in because the point of this is I want as much oxygen to go into my body before I hold my breath. Whereas the first technique is blow all that oxygen out and then that way you get a head start. You're not gonna hold your breath nearly as long, but you're not spending so much time either uh, to get those benefits of the breath hold technique. Okay, so for this second technique, you would do about 10 big, big, big breaths in and you slowly breathe out. I'm not gonna do all 10. You could do this on your own and there's other videos that you could watch where people do this, but it would be a big breath in and then blow all the way out. Big breath in and then do it again. You would do that several times. At the end of doing that, be careful, you're gonna get a little lightheaded um, after you do this. Then you would do a controlled hyperventilation, which is breathe really fast and trying to get rid of as much carbon dioxide as you can. When you get rid of as much carbon dioxide as you can, you are going to build up your tolerance and you're going to be able to hold your breath longer afterwards. So it'll look something like this. Do that for about 10, maybe 15 seconds. Be extremely careful with this. This is a little bit more on the dangerous side of things, but you would do that at the end of that. You take your breath in and you hold it. And then you time yourself again. How long can I hold my breath? And with this technique, you will hold your breath so much longer than the first technique. But again, I can't stress enough, there are more risks. So this is for somebody who is already a little bit younger, healthy, doesn't have any health conditions. And their goal, one of their goals is, hey, I want to impress people with how long I can hold my breath. Go for that second method. The first method, that's more for the, I don't care about impressing people with how long I can hold my breath. However, I do like those benefits that you were talking about uh, in the first part of the video, and I want those within do that. So again, first one is Buteco Method. Um, the Oxygen Advantage is a great book and a great resource for that. The second one, um, uh, that's kind of something I got from David Blaine. Uh, to my understanding, at least at the making of this video, he's one of the... Uh, uh, record holders for the longest breath hold, and these are techniques that he uses. Uh, and then again, another resource is Wim Hof method. He does something very similar where it's a big breath in, big breath out. He does not do the controlled hyperventilation as much at the end, but he'll do about two minutes of big, big breathing in, big breathing out, breathes in. He actually does let his air all the way out, and then he holds his breath, and he recommends that most people should be able to hold their breath for two minutes after doing uh, those techniques. So just some advantages to being able to hold your breath longer, the physiological responses that happen with that, and a couple of techniques that you could explore and play with on your own. As always, if you like this video, if you got something useful out of it, give us the thumbs up. I like the encouragement. Uh, and then if you have any uh, comments, uh, if you have any questions, leave them below and I would love to answer those for you.